Today we're going to talk about the table saw. We're going to introduce you to the parts. Uh, first thing you want to do before you do maintenance or any types of demonstrations like this, you want to make sure that it's unplugged to keep yourself safe. First thing we're going to talk about are the blades. And here we have a blade inserted and there's a cover over top of this that sits on the table. This is called a throat plate. This can be removed. It allows you access to the inside of the machine and also allows you to be able to change the blade. Next thing we're going to show you is we show the handle underneath the saw. This helps the, the saw blade go up and down. And basically the way it works is if you go counterclockwise, it goes down, clockwise up, you can set it to whatever height you want. There's also a screw in the center so you can lock it in place once you have the height set. Next thing we're going to look at is putting the blade on an angle. We can go up to 45 degrees. For this demonstration, I'm going to take it up to 10 degrees. There's a handle at the side of the machine, and there's a scale that's on the front there, which tell you exactly what the degrees you're working towards. In order to do that, attempt the handle clockwise. And for this instance, I'm going to go to 10 degrees. Once I'm there, I can lock it in place and I have the angle set. For this particular saw, this saw blade actually will tilt to the left. Some will tilt to the right also. It just depends on the manufacturer of the saw. Basically what we have here is we have a rip fence. Ripping is basically taking a board and running a saw cut down its length to the desired width. In order to get this to work properly and to set it to the right width, is you can pop the handle, you can slide it back and forth to whatever you want. In this instance, I'm going to set it up for 11 inch. I just tap it into place. There's a line that runs down the center. I want to line that line up with the line for 11 inch and click it in place. That's basically just a tape measure and you can set it to whatever width you want. 